Hey guys, Matt here. Twitch custom live thumbnails, are they possible? 100%. The real question is, are they practical? Stick around to find out. To answer the question whether or not live thumbnail customization on Twitch is possible and how we can do it, we first have to understand how it works. Twitch live video thumbnails are generated approximately every five minutes, pretty much always resulting in two unique thumbnails every 10 minutes. In my experience, thumbnails are generated every four to six minutes at varying intervals of 30 seconds from when the initial thumbnail is taken. This means that if the initial thumbnail is generated at 5 o'clock, then the next thumbnail should be generated at 5.05, the five minute gap being the most common. However, it's not exact, therefore the next thumbnail may be captured at 5.04, 5.04.30, 5.05, 5.05.30, or even 5.06. But well, what does all that mean? Well, if we know when Twitch is going to generate the next thumbnail for a stream, we can do something like create an overlay that pops up at the time the thumbnail is captured, allowing us to create a custom thumbnail without having our stream constantly covered in large text, logos, characters, and other elements we might consider using in our custom thumbnails. Essentially, we are trying to add whatever we would like to appear on our live thumbnail on top of our stream at the time Twitch captures its next screenshot. Now that we have an understanding of how Twitch live thumbnails work, what it is we need to do in order to create them, let's jump into how we're going to do that. The first thing we need to do is set up a stream time overlay on our starting soon screen. We can do this by downloading SNAZ. SNAZ is a free program that will run in the background updating a text document with our computer's current time. We can then reference this document in Streamlabs as a text element populating our scene. This will allow us to know when the first live thumbnail is generated by searching for our stream. We can search for our stream simply by typing our own username within the search box, finding it in the search results. Keep in mind that it takes 30 seconds for Twitch to process the thumbnail, and your stream will take some time before it appears in the search results and game category. Once you see your stream, note the timestamp within the thumbnail. This is the time we need to use to calculate when the next potential thumbnail will be generated. If we add 5 minutes to the noted time, we can assume that is when the next thumbnail will be taken. Therefore, that is when we should have our overlay appear. But we don't want to constantly have to play our overlay manually whenever we think a thumbnail is being generated. We want it automated. That's where browser elements come in. We can create an HTML file that references a video, in this case our overlay, and place it on refresh at a certain preset time interval. We can then add the HTML file to our scene as a browser element with the appropriate settings. I'll have a link to the document in the video description. Now that we have our browser element in Streamlabs, all we need to do is switch scenes from our starting soon screen to our game screen just before the next thumbnail is taken. Timing is crucial. Video processing along with your internet connection play a large role when it comes to successfully playing your overlay during the desired time. Therefore, I recommend having an overlay that runs for about 10 seconds, giving you ample amount of time to switch scenes and make sure your overlay is running during the time the next stream screenshot is captured. It's important to note that when switching scenes, our live thumbnail overlay will start automatically. So not only will we have to time the scene switch, we also cannot use studio mode. Otherwise, our overlay will play prematurely before we switch between our test screen and our live screen. Okay, so I know what you're thinking. Matt, with all that said, that's still based on the assumption that each live thumbnail Twitch creates happens exactly every five minutes. And you're completely right, that's not likely to be the case. But what I recommend is creating three browser elements, staggering the refresh rate for each so they cover the 4 minute 30, 5 minute, and 5 minute 30 second intervals. That way, any offsetting or latency with respect to when the next live thumbnail is generated will be handled, at least for the most part. Allowing maximum thumbnail coverage but minimizing any impact the overlay may have on the quality of our stream. We don't want to move our viewers. It's all about getting viewers in. After you're feeling good about the amount of viewers in your chat, you can feel free to disable the overlay so they can better enjoy the stream. Also, keep in mind that sound for an overlay may give it a cooler experience, however, when it's shown more frequently, it may have a negative impact on the stream and actually annoy viewers. So take that into consideration when you're thinking about how often you'll be displaying your custom live thumbnail overlay. So back to our original question. Are Twitch custom live thumbnails possible? The answer is yes. But are they practical? 
Well, it depends entirely on you and your current situation. If you feel that having a custom live thumbnail will make your stream stand out amongst the others in its category, and your viewer count is already low, it could definitely prove to be a useful tactic in gaining viewers, followers, and getting noticed, as it will bring in a crowd while not impacting too many people watching, especially if there are none. But if you have a larger following, you want to be sure it doesn't impact your viewer experience and cause them to leave, so it requires caution. Also, it's quite a complicated process, so it depends on where you feel your time and effort is best placed. If you've made it this far, please be sure to like and subscribe so I can continue bringing you guys content related to your growth on Twitch and video games in general. Also, definitely head on over to Twitch so you can give me a follow and see me live. And let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Do you think custom live thumbnails will help take your stream to the next level, or are they more trouble than they're worth? Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.